Hi, Janine here. I'm 97 days post-op. Um, everything is going great. I That's my new bird, if you hear him in the background. Um, yeah, uh, no pain. My opening is 35 to 38. And um, uh, I've been using the Therabyte and doing the massage and doing interoral massage, massaging the masseter um, with my thumb on the inside and, and doing those, um, kind of stretching them. Uh, that's helped a lot and it went from being real hard and like ropey to um, now you can feel where the, where the muscle is, but it's, um, a lot softer and, um, moves better and not as tight. So that is really good. Um, I'm eating salads. I can eat steak. I think I have more of a problem with my eating with my braces than I do any foods really. Um, I don't have pain when I eat. I get tired. Like I, I ate almost a whole uh, Panera full salad yesterday. And at the end I'm like, yeah, I'm tired. Um, I do try to make sure that I eat evenly on both sides. My teeth are coming together a little bit better, better if I could just talk. Um, they were hitting more in the front and in this area than um, in the back, but that's evening out. Uh, so that's getting better, and the gap that I had is getting better. And he said that they'll settle in a little bit more once I get my braces off. Uh, so things will kind of settle into where everything fits um, real well. Which, I mean, it fits now better. Um, but the very back teeth don't... Yeah, my very back teeth don't really touch. But it's getting easier to eat because they're touching more or they're closer. They're not touching, they're just closer. So um, that's getting a lot better. Um, what else? Um my the top palette is still numb and I get you know you know like that feeling of chalk on on the or nails on the chalkboard where um where it's like the nerves are sensitive to where uh like when you get a, a sore tooth and you hit that tooth or a sensitive tooth when you're brushing you hit that and it, you get that kind of that zing that that feeling of oh gosh I can't stand that feeling um that a lot of my upper teeth especially on my right side but I had a sensitive tooth already on my right side before even the surgery um but this has kind of made it all worse um especially the front is more numb than um the back teeth but they're all still kind of that numbish feeling where I can feel them but you can't it's it, it's kind of I don't know how to explain it but it's it's kind of a weird feeling um I feel like when I first when when in the first portion of my recovery um it felt like the roof of my mouth was stretching like the the almost when you open up real wide that it would stretch um, that there was a pull in the skin and the roof of the mouth in the back um, and and that's kind of gone away that's gotten better where I don't feel that as much um, I more now take advantage of yawning to stretch <laughs> Um, any opportunity that I can take to to stretch and and um, keep my opening 
um, going. I'm happy where I'm at. I'd like to get a little bit more and, you know, get around a normal of, of 30, 38 on, you know, most days where right now, um, you know, in the morning, if I'm a little, uh, when it's a little tighter or whatever, I'll be at a 34, 35. Um, but still, it's, it's still so much better um, than what I was. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy with what I've got. Um, eating doesn't hurt. Yawning doesn't hurt. Um, I don't have if I have pain, it's more of a muscular soreness um, than actual, I think, pain in the joint itself. Uh, I do every now and then I get that squeaking noise. Um, I described it as a, uh, like rubbing balloons together sort of noise in the joint. So I get that sometimes. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, I haven't, I... I haven't posted in so long, I even forgot what else um, has been going on. I mean, everything's going really great. So there's, um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, or if you want to know how I've done something, um, you know, how I've handled certain situations or anything like that. Uh, I know that it's been, uh, I'm more confident now going out to eat than I was just a month ago. We have a lot of friends that my husband's been kind of going, oh, well, you know, she's not quite ready to go out and eat because I, I was having to chew so much in the front of my mouth that, you know, I, I was always afraid that food would fall out. <laughs> so that's... Um, that's gotten better. I don't have um, that feeling as much. Um, my fatigue has gone down a lot, so I'm getting better rest. Um, I have a sleep number bed, so I can I can tell just with my <coughs> sleep number. <laughs> She's getting mad at her own wing, or he. I don't know if it's a he or a she. I go back and forth. Um, so the sleep number is showing most of the time great numbers, a lot better than it was before. I can sleep on my side. I can sleep on my stomach. Sometimes it gets like a little, I won't say sore, but, but kind of like I'm laying on it too much. I still try to lay on my upper and keep the pressure off the joint and off my jaw moving to one side or the other but I can sleep on my stomach um, or kind of side stomach and and without a problem uh, I still have some tightness um, and soreness up at the top of this ear like right in this area I don't know if you can see that right in there. Um, it just, it's like the, it's got a little bit more scar tissue up in there. Um, so I keep working that, trying to loosen up that area, which that's getting better. I'm still getting headaches and I get them more often than I would like um, and I'm getting some cluster migraines so um, my my Botox didn't la didn't last as long and I'm gonna talk to him I have a appointment in a couple weeks I think um, for my next series but it right off the bat, I mean, after, you know, it, it takes two weeks or 10 days, seven, seven, seven days to 14 days to actually take effect. Typically for me, I'm around 10 days. Um, I had a little bit of time where I was, I couldn't even raise my eyebrows at all. Um, and then 
just a couple months, maybe after I got the shots, I, I was able to raise my eyebrows. But I'm almost four, I can't be four months, because I've only, so I'm only, it was three months ago. Yeah, so I'm at three months and I'm, I'm not getting headaches every single day, but I'm getting them quite often. But they're not turning into migraines. Um, but I'm still probably taking one migraine pill a week at this point. Which is a lot better than what it was prior to getting the Botox. Prior to getting Botox, I was having debilitating headaches every single day. And I'm not having that now. Um, so the, it has gotten a lot better. Um, my neck has gotten better but again it's my I have issues with my neck period there are problems because I've I think I've had this for so long that it's just it's beyond repair at this point well it's not beyond repair but at some point you know I'll have to probably have a, them go in and clean it out or something um but i think that some of my pain and some of my headaches have to do with that and i know that when i wake up there's times that i just can't even though i'm sleepy i'm tired i just can't continue to sleep because of my neck it's not my jaw anymore it's my neck um or a combination um, used to be a combination, but now if I, if I wake up and I just can't sleep anymore, it's because my, my neck is, you know, I'm still struggling with pillow issues, which, you know, it's not the jaw, it's the neck and something's always bugging me with, with my pillow situation. So that's always an ongoing, um, so, and I've, oh, I had the, my pillow, which is good for side sleeping, but not for, it's too tall for me for back sleeping. Um, and yeah, yeah. Uh, when I, when I lay on my back, um, my jaw doesn't hurt, but it does tend to, to open up and. And so I actually used, you know, the, the band that they give you, the, the swelling band. I put that on real loosely just to hold my chin up so I can um, sleep on my back and not snore or have my mouth gaping open. I can breathe better. I just, it just falls open. Um, but it doesn't choke me like it used to. So I still don't, I don't snore as bad, which makes my sleeping better. But you know, you wake up with dry mouth and your mouth hanging open. I oh, we went on a UTV ride, um, and that that was well. I love going out on the UTV, and no problems. I ha I did take a little pillow um, again for my neck. The but I before I would intentionally relax or or kind of hold my jaw and, and continuously relax and, and keep um, the muscles from getting tightened from clenching or having to hold myself up I would just relax back on the on my neck pillow and keep everything relaxed so I'm still able to do that um, I found that I could hold my head up more um, that I wasn't having to rest and and protect everything as much so I was um, I was able to do more on that aspect so uh, everything everything's just been great and getting better all the time um, again if you have any questions want me to go over anything uh, I'll continue to do updates every now and then everything's going great uh, I don't regret it one bit. I am 
so happy with with my results um i'm ha I, I you know he did a wonderful job on my scars you can't hardly even tell these scars down here they were pretty lumpy they're getting better not as tight um one thing that i that i was concerned about was whistling i can whistle sometimes it's a little, it's like a little stiffer but remember if you get the lafort and you have the scar tissue up here remember when you're massaging on the inside massage that too massage that area you know keep it um keep it loosened up so it doesn't stiffen up uh i think that has really helped me um, being able to whistle and and have that um, I still have my the feeling in my nose um, it feels weird again I don't know how to it's like it moves <laughs> like the inside of it moves um, might it might be the numbness um, but I do feel that there, there's like a weird feeling in there um, not a bad feeling it's just it's just weird it's kind of like the top of my roof of my mouth being numb um, there's kind of a weird feeling in my nose too so that's been um, pretty normal for me um, I've had some ringing in the ears a, a couple times um, or a few times you know it, it doesn't happen every day and as often as it used to uh, so that's gotten better and um, I did have a point recently in the last month or so where I felt fullness um, on my right side in my ear uh, and which probably brought on the ringing but that seems to have, have gone away too. So that's gotten better. Um, you know, I expect to have some ups and downs, especially if I push it too much or if I do too much. Um, but I'm back to normal living, um, lifting stuff that I can and, and doing things. Um, I did... I built an uh, an Avery for my birds for two well two of them are out there I just got a new one so it can't join them for uh, another few weeks um, but we built this big Avery and I did find that looking up and especially if I had to hold my hands up and and drilling above my head or um, holding things up and looking up that that was a really bad combination for me that it got sore and tired um, my neck and my jaw kind of I could kind of feel it in that whole area so some limitations in that but I don't know how many people um, are building and screwing and and doing construction type stuff above their heads but I mean it would be with anything that you would it could be even you know doing a lot of looking up putting up pictures or something in your house or curtains or whatever um, you know stuff like that it, it, you will probably feel that um, so just be aware of how your body's reacting and when you start really feeling that it's really getting tired to stop um, that's when to go okay I've had enough just you know give, give yourself that okay to say that it that you're done for the day or or done for that time um, because that might be Though it's normal, it, it was normal for me. I got tired, and so I just went, okay, time to stop for the day. I, you know, that or I will, I could hold it up, but I couldn't look up. So it's you're gonna have to do your thing up there. Now, if I was up and and drilling straight on, then it was a, it was easier. It was different. I could do that. 
but it was the looking up because you you are stretching and, and using all these muscles when you're doing that. Um, um, besides that, I haven't gotten on the motorcycle yet or worn a helmet. We do not wear helmets when we ride in the UTV. Um, so I haven't done that yet. I bit my lip, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, cause I was kind of just relaxed and my teeth came together. I had a bump or something. My teeth came together. I'm like, ow, you know, I haven't done that in a long, long time. I actually bit my lip just from normal, um, you know, jarring or bouncing and stuff. It was, it was kind of funny. I thought, oh, that's a new one. That was kind of funny. So, um, a lot of, a lot of new things going on. A lot of discovering and doing new things. Um, cause after dealing and it getting progressively worse for the last Gosh, it's been almost been 40 years, 30 years, over 30 years. Um, it, it, there's a lot of new things that were things that I haven't had happen in a very long time. So, um, yeah, I'll give, I'll definitely give an update um, after I go to Dr. Bobek um, in. I don't even know where I don't remember when I go again. August? I think I go again in August um, for my last checkup. Uh, hopefully, I'll have my braces off by then. Um, I can't wait to get them off because that is going to be, that's going to make e eating easier right there. It's just getting the braces off. I do have a little bit of side to side. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Um, and it's the side to side that really makes me tired trying to clean stuff out of my braces. That's more irritating than anything. Um, yeah. Well, have a good one. Talk to y'all later. Bye.